Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kirby Triple Deluxe playthrough. We could end the game right now and beat the final boss, but that's like work and stuff, so instead we're gonna play extra level. Huzzah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the the last I return to Dreamland music. Yeah, this is the last standard level I would say in the game. There's a oh shit, I actually blocked something on time. Uh, there's a, the, the next extra level is a hypernova level, so, you know, just so you know what you're getting into for that. But this is the last, like, actual platforming we're going to be doing in the playthrough, so, you know, so sad. I'd forgotten how good... Keep Return getting hit by trees. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they... they I, know, have... know, I know my plot in life to destroy the EPA. <laughs> Well, like, wouldn't you... Actually, it's not the trees that hurt you. It was the Waddle Dees cutting them down. No, the trees are the, technically the ones that are hurting you, so... Well, that doesn't Death mean to that all you, trees. That doesn't mean that you have to not kill the Waddle Dees at the Look same at time. That. Look at that Waddle Dee. He looks so damn happy to have cut down a tree. Yeah, because he's just a lumberjack. That's like... He, well, you know, the whole reason why they cut down trees is so that they can use them for shit. Like, he's kind of a failure as a lumberjack because that tree's the never tree coming back. The tree fell off a cliff <laughs> into the void. No, 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 no. Contract specifically says his job is to cut down trees. What happens to the tree afterwards is irrelevant. Oh, huh, okay. I'll see you in court. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, he. Uh, <laughs> I hope that his union rep is, is good then. <laughs> uh, it's actually sucked into the hypernova last week. Yeah, DDD's too stupid to actually go to court for anything, so. Yeah, so, you know, actually, I 100% firmly believe that there are no unions in the Kirby universe because King DDD wouldn't allow them. But I also do firmly believe that King DDD is too stupid slash lazy to actually enforce any of the terrible rules that he has on his workers. So, like, he might be like, you guys gotta work 18 hours a day with no sleep, blah, 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 blah. but the, the, the Waddle Dee's, like, work three and he doesn't notice or care. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can okay. die if that thing hits you, so... Good thing that Kirby did a little dance to make sure that he got the Hypernova, but not the Hypernova, that he got the Sunstone before that thing was about to come crashing down on his head. If Tom didn't stop... Wouldn't it just, what, what, yeah, wouldn't it just uh, push you down if it was an open spot yeah, on the was, floor? I was gonna say that. It's like, wouldn't it just smack you down? That'd be hilarious. Like, during the dance? That would be funny. <laughs> uh, well, I guess this place is like circus acts. Wasn't this the music for that one stage that we didn't actually manage yes. to get the, the, the gear for? Yes. For shame. We should our, we should remedy that playthrough. <laughs> the only gear we didn't get. The only gear we didn't get. And, you know, if we want to be really technical, we didn't finish 3D World either. Oh, what? Well, with, 3D World goes on for way is, too long. Do we trust ourselves to finish? I can't beat <laughs> Champions Road on my own. I don't know if I could beat it with you guys there. <laughs> I mean, granted, the main reason why I haven't beaten Trampion's Road is that I don't give a shit enough to get to it, but... I mean, still. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit, I had a much better time... <laughs> well, much easier time, I should say, playing uh, 3D World in single player. If... Well, everybody does. I mean, unless if you're playing with, like, your, your three-year-old, I, I, I mean... Yeah. Like, the only thing that I didn't manage to do during my single-player playthrough of the game was get all of the stamps. And that's because of the... You have to beat the levels with all five characters. characters. Yeah. yeah, that thing. And um, I only had one controller at the time, so I couldn't even cheese it by summoning, like, that's three weird. of the other characters at the end of the play level. with your feet. Even if you do that, you still have to do another playthrough entirely as Rosalina, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Man, okay, so you can also tell that this was recorded before the Switch presentation, because I'm about to say I really hope that the new 3D Mario game looks good. <laughs> because... <laughs> Well, I you know, very switch this okay. everyone. You know, knowing Ninten Nintendo, we'll just get another teaser of that. Ugh. I hope we don't because that's a supposed to be a launch title. If it's a launch title, we better get more than just "Hey, Mario's coming." Well, no shit, I know that. Ninjas. Will it be a Go launch ninja. title, though? I'm skeptical. Uh, they should. That fucking because better be, because then there's probably no... Like it's like, I mean, with the exception of the GameCube, sort of. When has, there's always been a Mario launch when has a th When has a 3D Mario game been a launch title, though? 64. 64. Uh, if, Was if we that a launch get title? 
Yeah, yeah, that was a launch. Title. It was it was like the only game on the N64 when it first came out. <laughs> hey, 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 man! <laughs> Pilot Wing 64, you know, that was something that the poor sap who didn't get Mario 64 had to play. <laughs> Um, but I, I just mean it better be a launch title because ultimately they delayed the console for a couple of months specifically to, to have a better launch lineup. So uh, if your big guns aren't going to be in the launch, then why'd you even bother? Uh, Lewis, if we want to get technical, Mario 64 has been the launch title for a Nintendo console twice because Mario 64 DS was the launch title for the DS. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was, I, think it was also, I think it was also a launch virtual console game for the Wii as well. Uh, yeah, basically. Because people love them some Mario 64. Hell yeah. So, Ryan, when are we going to get our <laughs> Mario 64 DS playthrough? Eventually, I guess. <laughs> well, the nice part is that I have to, re for recording it, I have to do it on the 3DS, which makes the controls a little bit better. It's it's, it's all psychological, though, because the control still only registers D-pad movements. You just kind of trick yourself into... Yeah, but the, circle pad is, but the circle pad is a lot easier to do it with. Yeah, it, it feels better, which is the most important thing, yeah. but it's... The control isn't actually any better, though. It's It's bizarre. Yeah, but you feel better, and I think that's what's important. Also, there's like 50 extra stars that you can get. 30. Because 120 is a strange number to end on. So let's end on 170. That makes more sense. 50. Wait, 150? Yes. I thought there's that there only was, 30 more. I thought that there was 50 total extra stars. No. Oh, there's only 30? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, my bad. Right in! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. best power up. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Way to also go, John. <laughs> Way to jinx it. <laughs> love that. I, that was your I, fault, I just John. <laughs> love Stag Beetle. The, the the Beetle is one of the best uh, power ups in the game. It's the right combination of speed and power. I think that makes it really satisfying to use. Combo potential is also off the charts. Yeah, because you get a lot of invincibility frames, so you can pass through enemies without taking damage. Nope, 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 nope. Would that protect him? Uh, no. Probably not. Hey guys, did you know that ice can defeat fire? Can it? <laughs> I'm skeptical. Well, I guess if we're going by if we're going by Final <laughs> Fantasy, I guess. This yeah, I think I had mentioned this earlier, but I enjoy that the game makes use of unique ways to to solve obstacles, like having to use Circus's fiery things, fiery um, hoops and um, and juggly whatever the heck he's juggling. Pins? Yeah, the, the pins. <laughs> In order to um, solve the puzzles. I You can also... There's some other things that can stop fire blocks, but I don't... They just didn't feel like giving them to you here, so I guess you're using... Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> All right, for All your response. For the record, Kirby is like the only game where I am 100% okay with respawning enemies for stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, actually, I was going to say Mega Man, but I feel like Mega Man X is even worse with it a lot of the time, even. Um, I don't mind it in X because that means I can refill my sub tanks faster. Okay, maybe in Armored Armadillo, but if I'm going through Flame Mammoth, I don't want to fight those, those uh, what's-his-face guys, the pickaxe ones. 12 times. What are you backtracking and playing Mario Stage 4 anyway? Um, not everybody's played the game since they were 5 years old and doesn't know where everything uh, is. I, I think maybe you should travel back in time yeah. <laughs> and get 5 year old Ted a copy of Mega Man X. And what is 5, what, how is 5 year old Ted going to play Mega Man X on his N64 and Game Boy Color? And don't say, uh, oh, Game Boy Color, there's Game a next Color game, there's a next Mega game. Man Extreme. Yeah. Mega Man Extreme. Uh, Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. God. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. So, Ted, uh, Mega Man Extreme playthrough when? Um, the Mega Man Extreme... Yeah, you are hereby in charge of Mega Man Extreme. Okay, Man how about Extreme this? Uh, I'll do Mega Man Extreme after I get Pokemon Emerald done. <laughs> you're, about no. three, you're about three years behind on that. <laughs> okay, so I'll use that uh, time machine to record Pokemon Emerald then, and then I'll use it to record Mega Man Extreme. You record Mega Man Extreme. I'll make my next recording Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> you <laughs> ass. Okay, context. Uh, for a long time, since I actually like Sonic and the Black Knight, yes, I know. Um, I've called dibs on Sonic and the Black Knight, and then by proxy, Johnny gets to play uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. So I've been... I've been but Secret, Secret Rings sucks. So. Yeah, Se Secret Rings is terrible. 
So, I've been poking him about that for like years. And so, yeah. You dick. <laughs> you gigantic dick. <laughs> better get on it, Ted. And you better no hit fucking Storm Eagle. Although, I'll never let you live that down. On the like Game Boy Color, though? It's not hard. It, it, okay. It's, it's the same boss. Like, I know that you guys have been playing Mega Man your whole lives, but I, I haven't. So, I don't really feel bad about getting hit by bosses that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Take but that. We have to complete the truck. We have to complete the, you know, the, the, the dishonor. The dishonor trilogy. Oh, dude, my entire existence is dishonorable. All right, I don't need a <laughs> single instance. <laughs> what would be the Zero series equivalent of Storm Eagle? I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell because that game, that series is just hard. That game is just hard. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't feel like anybody really remembers the names of those that game's Mavericks. Mon Robot Masters, whatever the heck they I are. Remember just, I remember just the main four. Yeah, they've got the main four from Zero One. It, like, but those are actual characters, though. Each game has its own set of eight bosses, too. And I don't think anybody remembers any of those. I actually also have not played uh, Zero for myself. Although, getting the Zero collection is on my to-do list. So... The DS game? Yeah, the DS one. I hear it's a good collection, um, and it's... Yeah, it's just that series is stupid hard. It's definitely cheaper getting the collection than, like, buying all, uh, all four games on Virtual Console, so... And I'd well, rather yeah, have so. it, I'd rather have it portable than have it, uh, on, stuck on the Wii U, so... Yeah. Well, that was fast. I lost Beetle, but I get him right back, so I don't really care. <laughs> but don't you want sleep? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sleep at least restores health, doesn't nope. it? Oh, no. God, some games it's like Wall Man. Oh, no. False alarm. And they, they tried. <laughs> you know, they just figured he could use some backup, so they brought in Gigant Edge DX, I suppose. For intimidation purposes. It's like that six foot five uh, bouncer in the front of the bar. Although, if they had just left the, the spiked walls and the cannon and not uh, bothered with the boss, then they would have won, but whatever. <laughs> Again, I, I mention this every once in a while, but if I were an evil if I were an evil overlord, I would not set my bases so that beating the boss opens the door. I'd set it so that beating the boss locks the door roughly seventy times. So that they can't get through any farther. <laughs> yeah, but then Kirby would just suck the door up. Okay, well if I'm fighting Kirby I'm already screwed, but that worked for like the vast majority of other video game heroes, I suppose. Also, isn't that like every RPG villain ever, where you think you're helping, but you're actually helping them? <laughs> well, is it like the, uh, I forget the guy who does like the vines on video game stuff, but the guy who's part of your party, but you can clearly tell he's going to betray oh, you or is That's Pro ZD. That's Pro ZD, yes. <laughs> Pro ZD. This world is imperfect. He's hilarious. I love yeah. This world, this world is, is imperfect. Uh, guys, I will wipe away the impurities and make it as beautiful as me. Twelve hours later. Lysander! It, it, it was you all along. <laughs> yes, it was me. For uh, I have been, uh, my machinations have gone undetected for years, for I'm a master of deception. <laughs> 